here is a poem I find worthy for today and every day from the past to every day in the future it's called Look in Yourself. Can you open your eyes and tell me can you open your eyes and tell me you see how the world is? Can you open your eyes and tell me you see how your world is? Or do you need me to tell you how your world is? Do you need me to tell you how your life is? You should look in you should look inside yourself and see the world from your point of view. You should look inside yourself to see who you really are. If it is the truth you want, then it is the truth you will get. If only you look within yourself. Because you only know what the truth is about yourself. Sincerely by me. I figured that was a good poem for today, considering today's circumstances in Chardon and from the past. It just seems that there are people that really don't know who they are inside or what they're capable of doing as for everyone else. No one anymore knows their friends like they thought they did. So I hope after today everyone will look in themselves and see what kind of person they really are so they can change their faults. So that fault no longer is a fault. Yes, we'll all have a chip on our shoulder. We all do though. There's only one person that created us in, in my eyes. He is the only one that was able to walk on water. Whereas of us, we've all got a fault. We're purposely made to where we're not perfect. But in the same token, that is what makes us perfect. Because we're all unique. We all have our own designs. Our own little quirks. Quirks, however you want to put it. But if you look in yourself, truly look in yourself, maybe you'll see what's eating you up inside. Maybe you'll see what's pestering you. Maybe you'll see the one thing that if you change the one little thing that you want to change, maybe then and only then unfortunate circumstances won't happen like suicides, murders, shootings. This is why I write poetry. It helps me get stuff out. This is why I write. Now I ask of you, find something that helps you. Don't have to be writing. Don't have to be even just daydreaming. Sketching, writing, poetry, no matter what it is that you love doing. Do it. And for those of you who are going through a dramatic thing at home or wherever you live, heed my advice, please. Do whatever you need to, to vent. Whether that's writing, sketching, or talking to others. I would say preferably having friends as a group, as a circle. But considering I'm not one to be around a lot of people, I write. I do poetry. Yes, I'm a 25-year-old man that does poetry. It's what I like to do. I just hope you guys find some way to help yourselves out. And that's not, um, that does not mean cheating with your spouse. Or having a little fling behind their back. Or talking behind their back. Or name calling to your parents over Facebook. 
I don't mean anything like that. Do what will affect your life and everyone else's life in a positive way. That's why I'm doing these videos. Hoping that maybe I can reach even if it's just one person. Maybe that one person can change their life for the better. That's why I do this. For no other reason but that. And if you see those reasons to be asinine, well, maybe it's you that needs to take a good look at yourself. Maybe it's you who needs to take a deep look in yourself. Because I myself, I already know what I love doing. Everyone loves their own thing. But that's why I'm doing this now. Hopefully I can show one person that there are other ways of show them what they want to do don't do it negatively do it positively I hope you take my advice for every word and you understand what I say have a good night